What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. We are doing a reaction today to a song that we've both already heard. Yeah. But I've been iffy with the new Sleep Token album and haven't given every song like a full chance and dissected it the way that I normally would. Um, certain aspects of the song kind of like turned me off to it at first. But mm -hmm. then I kind of, the more I've listened to it, the more I've come to appreciate it. So. But this is one that I don't think we've really bumped a lot. You know, we mm -hmm. we listen to the singles a lot. Yeah. Um, a Those lot of the heavier awesome. songs uh, we've played quite a bit, and it's just come on. Mm -hmm. This is a song that's come on, but we haven't really, like, listened to it. If mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. This, so we're going to do that today. This one I, I listened to not too long ago, and I actually think it sounded cool. But to me, it's, well, it's not up to par with the others in my opinion that i like but it could be way up there and i just haven't given it a chance it's very different yeah but i think now we can really digest it yeah. and see what we think about it mm -hmm. so this is take me back to eden by sleep token Actually, one thing I do know about this song is I absolutely love the intro to the song. That's what really enamored me the first time I heard it. I dream in First of all, his vocals are always beautiful. Yeah. Uh, he tends to have like a really open mouth whenever he yeah. sings. Aww. We've noticed a lot of his like vowels <laughs> are like aww. Like aww. wide mouth speaking aww. <laughs> Which I believe is good technique. Really open mouth and, you know, <laughs> full, depending on the sound you're going for. But yeah. it works. Beautiful stuff. Mm -hmm. of unrelated to the song but i'm like i've been curious as to why they've been putting in these random characters or these random beings like in their their music videos from this recent like album they're like really weird 
creatures. Perhaps a sleep token RPG video game <gasps> is coming. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be awesome. The the sound is very full, and I like it. Mm-hmm. It sounds yeah, it like uh, you know that kind of outer space sound mm-hmm. or you know deep the, ocean sound. It's the just way the very way very full and yeah, the way it went from like super soft at the beginning to like a more in, not intense but just more stuff happening in the music. I yeah. like it. They always perfectly balance heavy and soft. Yeah, I like it. Good pause. Suspenseful. Yeah. Spooky. Well, yeah, I spit blood when I wake up Sink porcelain stain choking up brain matter and makeup Just two days since the mainframe went down and I'm still messed up Room feels like a meat freezer, I dangle in like cold cuts Missed calls, answer phones from people I just don't trust Married talk, fake love, but I'll take a pound of your flesh Before you take a piece of my paste up White roses, black doves, got mother I think part of the reason that I was turned off by this song at first is because I've never been a huge fan of autotune. I think when used properly, uh, in certain instances, it can sound pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But I very rarely hear autotune that I like. And I think it kind of pushed me off a little bit, especially because of what I'm used to with Sleep Token. I mean, there's, there's been some effects in the past, but not so much this like... Yeah you know rap r&b style Mm -hmm. like you know with auto-tune and the whole shebang so Mm -hmm. i think it was different um but listen to this song after you have some spicy fun time there you go when you're laying in bed yeah and it will hit you different yeah as will most of the music lot of go ahead uh hearing that hip-hop not hip-hopish like rapish kind of part again i kind of like it more and more every time i hear it because like i was the same way at first i was like i thought it wasn't that great mm-hmm. or that was kind of like Ugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's not normal <laughs> but now that i well i've heard it multiple times now and the more i hear it i'm like you know what it's not that bad yeah it's kind of cool it's different but I feel like Doesn't I don't. Sound bad to me. I still like I, f- I, I feel like I still don't love that sound yeah. for the most part. Yeah. But the way that he fits it in, mm-hmm. and the way that it ties. Seemingly heavier parts of the song together, yeah. um, I think it's a cool little break. Yeah. Also, this part here, with the with the big kind of drawn out pause with mm-hmm. just some instrumental being kind of broken up and mm-hmm. spaced out. Yeah. It adds like a tense anticipation like what's it gonna sound like next? <laughs> like a, what's like gonna happen next almost like a you know thought provoking silence yeah so that's pretty cool mm-hmm. it feels like you could paint a picture in your head of what's happening yeah i guess it goes to show does it
It's like it's drawing you towards something here. Yeah, there you go. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, as said it. Pause. Ethereal. Yeah. It's like, just wait. It's gonna happen. Wow. Hey. I was not ready for that. Me neither. They didn't pause that time. <laughs> sorry, sorry to cut this off, guys, but wow. Yeah, they, um... I was not prepared for that. They didn't pause or give us any... <laughs> any... The drums are so good. Ugh. I think with this being probably the most between it having like the normal amount of like sort of pop style to mm -hmm. it that sleep token brings yeah with the sort of r&b rap style yeah. on top of that i think it's the most pop sounding yeah. song they've made ever yeah. um and i think that's kind of coming from someone who typically completely dislikes pop music uh, mm -hmm. very rare you know very rare pop music that i actually really like mm -hmm. and really digging a lot of metal and heavier stuff um sleep token will like bring it with the heavy stuff sometimes yeah. and so this was just really different um but like the structure of the song overall and just very the the different. whole feel of it yeah is still very them mm -hmm. and like i mean you got you have to give it to them they're phenomenal yeah. so yeah i didn't i forgot how many different sounds were mixed into the song i mean sleep token can mix a lot of like i mean i've heard them mix a lot of sounds into one song but this is probably one of the most like mixed up ones i've heard mm -hmm. i mean yeah there was a huge like popish sound to it but then it's like they didn't want to forget about the metal part so they just added that in Mm -hmm. And that sounded really cool, too. So yep. I think it sounded good. It's definitely not one of my favorites from the album, but I still think it's pretty cool, though. It's they, not that bad. They seem to do that a lot for, with this album. Yeah. Uh, like, really mixing mm -hmm. strange things that probably don't go together. Yeah. But, you know, that's pioneering. That's yeah. what you got to do. That's, uh, that's how new things come to be. So, yeah, yeah kudos to them for building the roads mm -hmm. let us all drive upon them <laughs> with our yeah. phones in our hand and a beer in the other just kidding don't mm. do that don't drink and drive don't text and oh, drive yeah, don't, don't do, do any of that no. but the metaphorical <laughs> music road the metaphorical music road i think Relax. crashes are a good thing no 
They make it heavier. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> dumb logic, dumb philosophy. Get on it. Let's start a dumb philosophy Philosophy. podcast. Just kidding. We're out of here. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, Let us know what you thought. Hopefully next time that Sleep Token release is something we can react to it fresh and not have heard it already. Yeah. (laughs) Because I kind of knew it was coming. Point is, thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, send us recommendations. Please, please, please. Yes. Anything you want. Just Anything. throw it on us. Throw it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>